Hello, I'm back with the final tutorial for today and I'm going to show you how to do something a little bit more complicated with the hue and saturation level, um, layers. So what we're going to do is I've picked this image from my, one of my kits and we are just going to change the blue on her top and the reflection in the water. Well, to start with we're actually going to change the colour across the image and we, we're going to bring back the original colour. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to open that hue and saturation adjustment layer. Now, you need to be able to see this bottom part of the panel. So if you can't, just pull your properties box out into your image area. You just click and drag. I can show you just click and drag it. You can move that out here. I'm going to leave it up there for now because I can see everything I want to see. So we've now got our hue and saturation layer. But like I said, we only want to affect the blue, or as much as we can. So, you've got a little hand button here, a little finger tool. I'm going to select that, and I'm going to select a nice area of blue on her top, because that's the area we want to change. Now, on the slider is at the bottom here, you can see there's a little selection made in the blues, and a little selection made in the cyans. So that's, going to, that's just the colours it's going to change. It's not going to change all the greens and the oranges or any of these colours in the middle here. So we're going to take our hue and saturation slider, or the hue slider, and we're going to move that up and down. And you can see it's affecting the blues. I quite like the pink. I'm going to change her top to a pink. But as you can see, it's also made the sky pink. So we're going to change that back to the original blue. So this is where it's going to get a little bit more difficult. At the bottom here, you've got a... Um, a mask layer or a layer mask actually not a mask layer and we're just going to click that now what it's going to do is it's going to open a little panel next to your hue and saturation layer now over here on the bottom left hand corner you've got these little black and white squares and you can toggle with the arrow between them but we want the black on the top we're then going to select our paintbrush tool if you do this little drop down box here next to the brush size, you want to make sure your brush is as soft as possible. I've left this at 0%. Don't forget you can use your open and close square bracket keys to change the size of your brush. We can go quite big. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to paint over the image just very, very quickly without going near the top and the reflection, the bits that I want to stay pink. So as you can see, we've taken that original um, colour back, we've brought that back to the blues, and if I turn this on and off, you can see what we've done to that image. Now this is going to work very differently with a lot of different images, so it's not always going to work. This one was quite easy, um, you're going to find some are easy and some are not so easy. Now. Let's have a little look at the same technique on this particular image. So I'm going to Adjustment Layers, Hue and Saturation. Now I'm selecting the little hand tool and I'm going to, let's affect the reds. And you can see our selection is made here. The thing is we do have some yellows in here and some pinks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that slider down. So hopefully it won't affect the yellows now. And there we go. We can use our hue and saturation and we can change that colour. Those browns look quite nice, don't they, against that, um, against the yellow. Now, what I'm going to do, just to get a little bit fancy, is I'm going to go back to my um, adjustment layers and I'm going to select photo filter. And now we've got these flowers a kind of yellowy orange colour, I'm now going to add a sepia. If I can find it, I'm now going to add a sepia effect to this image. I'm going to take that right down. That looks pretty awesome I think. Now what you'll notice is over here in our layers palette, let me just drag this up for you so you can see a bit more of it. We've now got our background layer. I obviously always duplicate that just to be safe. We've now got a hue and saturation layer and we've now got a photo filter layer. So this is where you start to build up your layers and things get a little bit more complicated, but I think that's a pretty awesome image now. So that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it useful and it was easy enough for you to follow. 
Thanks so much for watching and I will see you again next Friday for more Photoshop tutorials.